Yo, it's your man, Jay Graves, and welcome to the Mick Football Preview Week 4, presented by my good friends at Travis Creek Stables, located 6417 West Stones Crossing Road, Greenwood, Indiana, or hit them up at 317-893-5205 so you can holler at my good friends at Travis Creek Stables. Now, it's week four for the Mick Football Preview. Boys been taking licks this year. The, the Mick got a lot more losses than... They normally have, but that's going to make it good down the stretch of the season. So let's get right to it. We got four ball games to preview, so let's go right to it. Now, we got Center Grove going over to play North Central. Now, Center Grove is one and three going in. North Central, two and two. North Central coming off a huge win over LN last week, 42-27. Center Grove lost after losing three straight. Beat one of one last weekend, 48-40, 48-20. Now, Center Grove has got what I call the four horsemen. They got my man Connor Depp, Connor Fruits, Daniel Weems, Mitchell Evans, all taking the place of the war horse right now. Now, they putting in a little work. They doing a little work, but we got my man on the other side of the ball, Chinchilla O'Shea. Beat Lawrence North last week, 42-27. He got his hat and his coat back on again. <laughs> so now, Harry Abel's putting in crazy work at quarterback. Oh, the, the problem with it, that they have in his turnovers. My man's got 352 yards passing, 10 interceptions, two touchdowns. That's a problem. Turnovers have been a problem for him. He got his coat and hat and coat back on, but it's a dog standing on the sideline waiting. Hey, you thought we, we got to get it together. So, who do I pick in this ball game? The team that turns the ball over more than they keep the ball? Or the four horsemen from Center Grove? Center Grove playing on the road. North Central playing at the crib. Center Grove got a little bit more confidence after a win, after a 28-point win last week. I'm going with Center Grove to win this ball game. <laughs> they, they, it is what it is. Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, we got Warren Central, 3-1, and one, going over to play Ben Davis, 1-3. and three. Now, typically, East Side versus West Side, that's a huge ball game. Let's move on to the next ball game. <laughs> ben Davis is struggling right now. I don't, hey, I can't pick against Warren Central ever again. I picked against him the last week, and boys looking for me. I've been hiding. I've been, I've been hiding for about a week because my, my boys on the far east side looking for me. I didn't pick them last week against Lawn Central, and they beat the brakes on Lawn Central. <laughs> so now they looking for me. Ain't nowhere in the world Warren Central going to let Ben Davis get out of here with a win. Not when they've been rolling through, boys. They beat Lawrence Central 40-21 to 21 last week. My man Kobe Moore is putting in crazy work. Look, three weeks before the season started, Dunn was a tight end. Now, all of a sudden, he the quarterback. Nine touchdowns, only one interception. Only one interception, nine touchdowns, 386 yards. He putting in crazy work. My man Randy Wells putting in crazy work. Keandre Curry putting in crazy work running the ball. But also we got Elijah Price killing these boys on the outside, playing wide receiver. Hey, I'm just saying, Derek Allen, they got crazy weapons all over the field. And one thing about the kids on the far east side, from one central, they said different team, brand new team, same dream. Hey, they looking better than anybody right now. Well, we're, we're talking about the next team next. But these boys from Warren Central going to beat the brakes off Ben Davis. It ain't going to be close. <clears throat> if you go to the game, tell your mom to pick you up uh, in the second quarter. <laughs> hey, 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 Ben Davis. <clears throat> I got that cold, too. Y'all need to call in sick. <laughs> call in sick, dog. These boys from Warren Central hungry right now. And don't tell them where I'm going to be this weekend because they looking for me. Hey, let's move on to the next ball game. Now, we got Lawrence North. Two and two. They lost two straight after winning two straight. Going over to Carmel. The Carmel's three and one right now. Carmel coming off a big win at Pike 24-7 last week. They still running the two-quarterback system with Gabe Quigley 
and Zach Osborne. John David Rogers is running like crazy. Dylan Dowling running like crazy. Boys from, from Lawrence North, after losing two straight, I, I won't know if they're losing their confidence or what, but it's going to be a hard toe, hard game to toe over at, 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 uh, at Carmel. My man, John Hebert, brand new. Hey, that's my man, Skinny Jeans. He, he putting in crazy work. They looking as good as anybody in the mix right now from Carmel. So I got to pick Carmel going away, winning this ball game. Now, let's move on to the last ball game. The big ball game that, I, that everybody want to see. We got Lawrence Central going over to play Pike. Lawrence Central and Pike. Remember what it meant? Hey, last year, they got rid of Coach Graves as the head coach at Pike. Coach Graves is now the offensive coordinator at Lawrence Central. Starting quarterback at Pike last year with Jason Graves. He now the starting quarterback at Lawrence Central. <coughs> you follow where I'm going? <laughs> Boys gonna come in there trying to put in crazy work tomorrow. That's gonna be a revenge game. That's gonna be Everything's going to be on the line. That should be a fun game to watch. Pike right now is 0-4. They're struggling right now. Jason Graves is leading the doggone Mick in passing yards with 860 yards, nine touchdowns, although he got six interceptions. It's going to be fun to watch. So that's the ball game that I want to see. <laughs> that's the ball game. Hey, I got to go with Lawrence Central to win this ball game because – Pike had not figured it out yet. And Jason Graves, I look for that done to do crazy work this weekend. Now, I'll pick y'all two weeks in a row, y'all. <laughs> Don't go out there and let these boys from Pike blow you out because I'll pick you two years, two weeks in a row. Matter of fact, maybe I should pick Pike to win this ball game. You don't want me to uh, <laughs> that cause you problems. But on some real talk, I got Lawrence Central to win this ball game. Hey, it's your man, Jay Graves. From the jgravesreport.com, or you can hit me up on Twitter at jgravesreport so you can holler at your boy. And also remember that this segment is presented by my good friends at Travis Creek Stables, located 6417 West Stone Crossing Road, Greenwood, Indiana. Or hit them up at 317-893-5205 so you can holler at my good friends at Travis Creek Stables.